Bluehound is a new open source tool from Zero Networks that helps blue teams pinpoint the security issues that actually matter. By combining information about user permissions, network access, and unpatched vulnerabilities, Bluehound reveals the path attackers would take if they were inside your network. It is a fork of NeoDash reimagined to make it suitable for defensive security purposes. The tool can either be downloaded as a binary, built from the source code, or used as part of the ROST ISO. You will also need a Neo4j database ready if you are not running it from the ISO image. Let's start by downloading the ROST ISO, which comes pre-installed with Neo4j, Bluehound, and many other useful tools. The ISO also has a mock data set, which can be used to get a sense of Bluehound's features. When opening Bluehound for the first time, you will be greeted with a login page. Here, you will need to provide the credentials to your Neo4j database. In this video, the dataset resembles data collected by Bloodhound, but any other graph data can be collected and utilized by Bluehound through external script or application. For example, SharpHound can be executed to collect and upload results directly to the Neo4j database without going through the Bloodhound application. The Data Import Tools section comes populated with several useful collection scripts such as ShotHound, uploading results from vulnerability scanners, or collecting data from cloud infrastructure environments via cartography. Next, configure your main entities in the Configurations tab, the Domain Controller's OU name, Domain Admin's group name, and any Crown Jewel servers you may want to keep an eye on. Of course, Additional configurations can be added to further customize the dashboard to your own environment. Now, go ahead and run some queries. This can be done from the Query Runner section or directly from the individual charts of each tab. We have provided many built-in queries to get you started. If needed, you may edit any query or add your own using the Cypher query language. You can also create custom parameters, which can be used by other Cypher queries. It is also possible to use the edge filters to incorporate built-in edge groups or even create customized edge groups. Let's further examine the various tabs. The Logical Paths tab contains several queries that rely on information collected by SharpHound. Notice the Rent Simulator chart, which shows how many hosts can be infected in the network when there is no network segmentation. The network-enabled paths take into account network connectivity using tools such as ShotHound. Notice that the Rent Simulator chart is much thinner, meaning the amount of hosts that can be compromised from all other hosts is greatly reduced by network segmentation. The Statistics tab provides a summarized view of your data, such as a list of Kerberoastable users, vulnerable hosts, and more. If you are unsure about the meaning of a specific chart, you can consult the information section of the chart, which contains a short description and possibly a link to further reading. The Scores tab gives you various options of measuring the resilience of your security posture. These can be tracked for improvement by your security team over time to see that your mitigation efforts are having a measurable effect. Bluehound is built as a platform for sharing knowledge and best practices with other teams. Dashboards can be saved and loaded as a backup and even shared between users to collaborate and contribute insightful queries to the security community. Don't worry. Your credentials and data won't be exported. Bluehound is also about customization. If you wish to visualize more types of information in a graphical form, you can simply add whichever icons that suit your purpose into the public folder. Just make sure to save the image in a PNG format and have the file name correspond to the node label. The relevant nodes in the graph will show the new icon once the graph chart is refreshed. Finally, the settings section allows you to set some global limits on query execution, maximum query time, and a limit for returned results. We hope that this video has been informative and helped you get started with using Bluehound. If you have any questions about Bluehound or any of our other open source tools, check out our blog at zeronetworks.com blog or reach out to support at zeronetworks.com.